Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. Castlefield and Castlefield Viaduct, a wonderful structure. About three years ago I was up here and I did a video about the viaduct and the story of the viaduct. Well, things have changed since then. So let me take you up there and tell you what's changed. So three years ago when I came up here, unofficially, this is how the, the viaduct looked. Very overgrown, nature reclaiming it. However, let me take you to the top end now where we initially came in and I'll show you the transformation. Let me show you what the National Trust have done. And if you come and visit here, this is what you'll see. And it's well worth a visit. Come this way. Show this sign. So we've got free entry. So free entry. You just need to book online. Take a look at this. It's resemb it resembles a kind of like a railway waiting area. Come here. Natural Trust staff. So, this is where we begin. Even these seats that you see here are kind of referencing uh, railway waiting rooms. So I love the little nuances and the way it references railways and railway architecture. Absolutely love it. So, we've covered the main sort of entrance area, the waiting area if you like, for the railway. We're going to go now beyond those uh, in that screen. I'm going to show you the rest of the viaduct. Come this way. Would you look at that? That is a far cry from when we came here. What, three years ago? When it was just covered in weeds and nature was reclaiming it, which was kind of beautiful in its own way. But to see this thing repurposed and have a second life, it really is wonderful. Obviously, these are going to be established with plants soon. We're in the very early stages here, it's only just opened. But I'm going to walk you down now, down the viaducts, and I'm going to show you some of the sculptures and the beautiful references to other things. When I came here, like I say, I keep saying three years ago, something like that, we were walking along here. And you can actually look down and see the canal below you about whatever it is is it like 40 50 feet below it was a bit of an intimidating experience but no need to worry about that now because the the, the, the floor's been redone and it's absolutely fantastic <laughs> Now what I love about Castlefield is the whole history of Manchester is here. From the Romans 2000 years ago to the modern world that we see today, the bustling of the trams, the railways, the canals, it's all here in Castlefield and well worth a visit. And this thing just literally tops the, tops the visit off. The viaduct opened in 1892 and it closed in 1969. It was actually built as a relief viaduct for this one here, this grey lattice one at the bottom of the screen, our viaduct at the top of the screen. If you want the full history of the viaduct, I'll drop a link in the first comment on this video to my original video, which will tell you the full history of the Castlefield viaduct. Eventually these two sides will be populated with plants but they're hoping to populate them with the original wild plants that took over the viaduct all those years ago that's still at the very bottom end of the viaduct where I did that intro. There's still some buddleia coming through so maybe it will populate with buddleia but they're going to, like I say, they're going to look into wildflowers. Even the original ballast is still here from when it was a railway. It's been scraped up and it's been kept. Brilliant. So this is Dimpner. Hello. And this is Rebecca. Hiya. From the National Trust. Uh, and first off, I want to say thanks so much for inviting us up here because uh, uh, I was ranting the other day when I saw all the dignitaries come up and I wasn't <laughs> up here because I feel it's my viaduct this. <laughs> And that leads us on to the fact that about three years ago I was up here and it was very wild up here and uh, the speculation about it being a, a walkway, a garden in the sky was just just that really, speculation and I was, we were, I think everyone in Manchester was hoping it would, uh, it would take place but you've done it amazingly. We have, we are 
super excited to be almost opening the doors. So Saturday the 30th, we open our doors to, to the public and that's their opportunity to, to come and see what we've done, explore the place, think about what this could be in the future. Um, so yeah, the idea is that, that this is around balancing out that unequal access to green space in urban places. And, you know, we've been talking about Castlefield Viaduct for oh, 10, 12, 15 years probably. And actually we've just been able to make it happen. Um, so we're really excited um, to be on that cusp of inviting people through the doors and seeing what they think and what this could be in the future. This is just temporary. This is 12 months worth of an opportunity to come and visit and see what you think. We want people to get involved and to tell us their views. So the team up on the viaduct from the National Trust that are running this project are very open to your views and what you'd like to see up there. Um, so here was my um, completely, um, probably impractical suggestion. Back in 2019, the red arrow on the left there, I climbed that ladder. Me and Connor climbed the ladder and peered over the top. Um, and then where the other arrow is there, there was a signal gantry and I said I would love to see some semaphore signals put back up there uh, to reference the railway history of the place. Probably completely impractical, I don't know, but I just thought it'd be great that. So from the section of the viaduct that represents dereliction, we're about to enter a transitional point here. From this point, garden plots have been created uh, with partners of the National Trust and they've got uh, native and non-native plants. Uh, I'll just read some of the plants that they've put here. So, mountain ash, birch, oak and cotton grass. So let's go down here and take a look at this second part of the viaduct. These planters here have got that rust effect on them and it's to reference something, something that's been in quite a few of our videos, the Oddsall Cord. So I just love the way the link between the two. So that references the Oddsall Cord, which is just, I'm looking at it now, just through the gap on the viaduct. Reclaimed sleepers on this uh, planter. Love it. Don't think they were the sleepers them up here on the viaduct, but uh, a bit of wooden sleeper being reused. This little section of the viaduct has been sponsored by the Science and Industry Museum, and not without reason because if you look through there, where those lights are, just beyond there is the Science and Industry Museum that homes that houses the oldest railway station in the world, Liverpool Road Station. Of course, we've done a few videos on that. Okay, so you mentioned then it was a year-long project. So, so we've got a year to come and visit, have we? Is that right? Or initially, yeah. So we've got permission to be on this space for twelve months, and it's absolutely about getting feedback, seeing what people think, what the views are, and that will that will inform what that next step will be, what the future could be for this viaduct. This is a really new project for us. We don't normally do stuff like this, but this has to have public benefit. This this has to have relevance to people and we're only going to know that if we ask. So we're going to open the doors for 12 months, see what people think and go from there. And the thing that, the thing that struck me the most is that it's very much a blank canvas. You, you're looking for ideas from the community as to what they want to see up here, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. This is a really community focused project. So it's not about us coming in here and saying this is what you're getting. This is about what do you want? So we want to work with people on and off the viaduct, with groups, with residents, with people who are gonna use this space ultimately in the future to find out what they want, what you want from this space if it was to become permanent. Brilliant, and, and you're actually hoping, I mean, beyond you there, you can just see the window, it's a bit, bit, bit bright out there, but you're hoping to develop the rest of the viaduct, is that right? Or that's a long-term plan, is it? 
I think so, yeah. I mean, unless somebody tells us they don't want us to go the full length, then I think the, the, the idea would be that we've got 330 metres, we're only opening half of it now, but you look out that window and you think, wow, what, that, what could that look like? You know, how could, where could that take us? Um, and yeah, we've got opportunities to feed back when you're on site, off site, you know, email in, send us a, a comment or anything. So um, yeah, we're open to ideas from everyone. So you may remember in the original video, if you've watched that, and if you haven't, I'll put a link to it in the first comment uh, on this video. When the viaduct was completed, one of the last rivets to go in was a copper rivet. Now, I've never found that copper rivet and the people here haven't found that copper rivet because it's probably had about 20, 30, 50 coats of paint since that rivet was put in. However, there is references here to that copper rivet and they've done it beautifully. Just here in the gardens, just take a look at this. And already today, uh, I mean, it's not even open and we've seen people turn it up just out of pure curiosity. Yeah. So how can people get to visit and how do people get on the tours? Okay, so from Monday, um, we're going to open our, our booking system. So um, we are asking people to book just purely so we can make this a really safe and enjoyable visit for people. So there's 100 tickets a day that are going to be released. We're open every day. You just go online book your slot it's free for everyone so it's not a case of charging to get on it's you know it's a free free entrance um and we're yeah open for a year so there's plenty of time for people to come but yeah we've had a lot of interest today so i'll um, i'll drop a link in the first comment on this video and it's a national trust and i'll give you the actual the subsection of the website but they go online and they can book that's brilliant and free can't be bad can't be better than that can it Now, looking at the website, it looks like tickets are going fast. Um, I think there's a, a you know an initial like rush of people wanting to go and have a look at this. So don't despair, keep trying because I'm sure tickets will become available. And we've got a year to take a look and to to see how this thing progresses, and hopefully, we'll keep it beyond a year. And I don't doubt that during the next 12 months, this thing will evolve and there'll be more things added and. It's just a great space and, uh, you know, we, we, we need to utilise it really. So, yeah. And then as we progress down towards the end of the viaduct, there's a space here that can be utilised for all sorts of things. So I'm going to show you this space at the bottom here. So, Dimpner, you wanted to say something about various events that might be happening here. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, it is such a great space. So, you've got 330 metres. So, the programming, it's two things really. So, we'll, we've got some take a detour with a tree tour, if you fancy coming and finding out why trees talk to each other, the male and female, I didn't know that, a few quirky facts about the trees around Castlefield and St John. There's no trees in Manchester, there's loads of trees in Manchester, come and find out more. Um, we're going to have some bat nighttime trails. Bats. Bats. Nice. Um, we're going to work with uh, the Literature Festival, so Poet wants to come up here. H, if you want to come up here and do a bit, if anybody's out there and thinks I really could use that space. So we've got lots of opportunities to use this great event space 
um, almost to showcase stuff. Um, so if you've got an exciting project or if you've got a community group and you just want somewhere different to meet, come and have a cuppa with us up here. So it isn't just about the tours and the tours will be more like conversations. And over the last few days when we've just been testing it out, someone said, I want to run 100 metres on here. I want to open a bar. That might not happen. <laughs> got enough bars. But anyway, who knows what do you want? Or Catwalk. A catwalk. Yeah. yeah. So it's about that. For a catwalk. Some people are interested in gaming. You know, could you put, could you design a game, game up here? Could you write a script? Or we've got the Cloud Gardener coming up and he lives... 18 floors up in Deansgate and he's done some great planting up there but what if like me you kill every plant that you've got can we do some like you know gardening some, lessons some gardening lessons yeah, yeah yeah or anything what can you think of so come and tell us and if you're having trouble getting on keep trying if you keep having trouble we're gonna look at who's coming and we really want Manchester, Salford, Greater Manchester, we want you on, this is your viaduct, this is yours, it's not ours, we've had people's postcode lottery money on this as well as National Trust, the next stage we'd be looking for loads of partners but it is your viaduct, come and tell us what you want. Anyway, thank you both for talking to us. It's great to get an insight. And thanks for inviting us up. It's been absolutely fantastic. You've done an amazing job. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. So it's been amazing to come up here for me and Roy. It's been brilliant. And I must admit, about a day ago, I saw something on Twitter, a press release. Somebody had, some, somebody had been up here and was saying how wonderful it was. And I was like... I was a bit like... Brr, I should be up there. I did a video on that three years ago. I should be up there looking at that. And so I want to thank the people up here, the National Trust and the people that run this place because they did invite me up and they did say, come up, Martin, do a video and tell people about this place. It's on a trial run for a year, so it will be reviewed uh, about July next year. So let's use it. Let's give it a permanent future up here and let's hope that they develop this, this extra bit uh, behind us as well. So I hope you enjoy the video from the Castlefield Viaduct. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And to everyone that invited me up here and allowed me to film, thank you so much. It's been a wonderful experience. Anyway, take care and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Bye for now.